Price, of course, is uh, Nastasia Kinski. John Candy is here, and tips on how to be a responsible television viewer. All this uh, ahead of us. Uh, what was your uh, childhood like? Oh, sure, you better open that button. Um, what was your childhood like? You grew up in Germany, right? You want me to the office? This takes days. Uh -huh. <laughs> I grew up in, uh, no, I spent my first year of school in Italy. I went to London, England, then went to France, then back to Germany, and back to Italy, then South America. Yeah. Back to France, and back to Germany. And you started acting at a very young age, didn't you? Uh, 13. Mm -hmm. Now, was it possible to have any kind of close to a normal life? Uh, existence in those well, days? Well, that was my normal life. Yeah. You see, I, w I would, at that time, you know, I had nothing to compare it to. I just did it, and we were traveling around, and that's what I, you know, what my father and mother showed me, and what I what I lived, I saw as normal as today, of yeah. course, I, I know it wasn't all that. So, right. how do you feel, looking back on it, how do you feel things were handled for you, or you handled the them? The best. Up? Yeah? The best. Even though when you're, when you're at that age, you know, 14, 15, even 10 or 11, you want to always live like like the others, you know, mm -hmm. to, to have like a home that has one route, to have, you know, lunch at one, to have, you know, all these regular things. I always wanted that because everything was like gypsy-like in, yeah. our, li in our what family. Was, uh, what was uh, life like with your father, Klaus? Now, he strikes people as being uh, maybe an eccentric, kind of a curious fellow. It, was that true at home? <laughs> Yeah, he he was. But again, I didn't know any other father, so mm -hmm. I thought every father's like that. Right? <laughs> was, did he, in those days, did his behavior strike you as being loopy? I mean, do you remember him doing <laughs> odd things? You would go back to your room thinking, boy, uh, Dad's uh, stepped no, off the No, we're curb all there. alike a little bit, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, my mother and I, my father, we're all a little bit alike. Yeah. Uh, and you, you're very close with your mom now, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, my father and mother separated when I was nine, and... They still kept a great relationship till you know a few years after. So that was a strength or a root I will always carry with me. I mean, the marriage of my father and the time my father and mother were together was were great. And then I lived with my mother, which was uh, even greater because we became closer and closer and closer. What was so. your relationship like, or what is it like, if it's still in existence with uh, Roman Polanski? It's, um, I met Mr. Polanski when I was like, 16 or something with my mother. But now, did, did you, were you frightened by meeting him because he, uh... I was, uh, a little bit because people, you know, you know what people say about him. So I met him and he was everything else but that. He treated me with, with great respect and was very, very sweet. And my, my mother and him became great friends and then we started working together for it. French Vogue, which wasn't like in the magazines that it was, but it was a story, the pirate story, which he's going, going to do as a movie, which he's written for seven years, and he's uh, finally going to do it as a movie, and it was stills that way, with costumes, and we got to know each other. And one day he told me, you know, have you read Tess? And that's when I was in, uh, in America. I was 16, I said, what do you mean you have to? And he never really gave me the impression that I would do the movie I would get the part you know he's always he was always very distant and cold about it and finally sent me to England for seven or eight months or seven months it was for the accent and uh, you know yeah. to do it on he said I don't think you can do it you're too German you're too this you're too that but try it anyway so I tried and I got the part yeah. and ever since that we're very close and I, I you know if if it's anybody I, I long to to know what he thinks about my work and my development it's it's surely my family and him when uh, uh he he had a lot of trouble and and still is in a lot of trouble if he comes back to this country did any of that ever bother you or, or give you second thoughts about uh, what the uh, man may be up to i think it's ridiculous i mean i i uh, i never really wanted to get into the whole story what you know what it really was about because the way i know him is totally different and uh you know i don't want to know about it and i think it's ridiculous i think it's one of the was wonderful filmmakers and uh, I think it's a loss for America that's all I can say you, know? you, you mentioned uh, also accents when you appear in, in movies generally you don't you can't detect a German accent but you that would be your natural tongue would it not so to speak what Germany I mean you speak German that's your first language German is my first language uh, but I grew up with you know four or five languages so uh, I'm very, m my ear is very musical for, for new languages. So in English, I could very easily pick up, like, easily not, I would have to work on it, but on English or American accent. Or, for example, for Evelyn Nesbitt, I was, wanted to play that part so badly for Milos Fuhrman. 
I was uh, studying three months for that accent, you know, that, um, and that didn't work out. I was, you now know. what accent is that? Uh, I, uh, uh, ah, where's Evelyn Nesbitt from? Audience? Where's Evelyn Nesbitt from? You would know you're American for <laughs> Evelyn Nesbitt. Sake. Paul? N New Jersey? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, we'll trace this and maybe call her. Anyway, uh, that I, I that I that had I trouble with that I, I had trouble. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I love to do that. We have to uh, go on away here for station identification, but uh, Nastasia and I will return right after this. <laughs> Thank you.